Alright, so within the last few hours, Global and JP got basically the exact same data download for the upcoming Heroes collab, which is starting on November 22nd at 6 a.m. GMT or 2 a.m. Eastern Time. And since Proton hasn't had a chance to get to the global side yet, we'll be using the JP assets. But once again, this applies to both sides of the game. Now, uh, real quick, before we jump in, of course, a big shout out to my boy Proton and TenMG on Twitter for posting all these assets. And let's scroll down a little bit here and uh, start with the assets for the new Heroes units. For this year, we have the STR Super Hearts, SSR Art, and TUR, as well as the uh, Transformed Ultimate Hearts with the Active Skill, right? And then we have the Int Super Saiyan 4 Limit Breaker Xeno Goku, SSR, and TUR. And honestly, in my opinion, the SSR art looks a lot better than the TUR. I mean, the TUR looks fine. Like, this is a good hard art, but this one just looks a lot more badass, you know? So, yeah, anyways, that's the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. We also, of course, have the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, SSR. And TUR, we have the uh, AGL Golden Metal Cooler, and finally the Tech Modified or uh, Reconstructed Janemba. And these two don't have Awakenings yet, so they're kind of like the um, Robelu and uh, Brainwashed Supreme Kai of Time from last year, where they're most likely going to get their TURs with the next collab next year. So those are the five new summonable units. We have the Hearts. The uh, Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4, G 4 Vegeta, Golden Metal Cooler, and also Modified Denemba. And after that, we have the new free-to-play unit, which is the Int Legs. I think that's how you say her name. I could be wrong, but I'm going to go with Legs. We have the SSR and the TUR. And we also have some Awakenings for some older Heroes units, the Super Saiyan uh, 4 Bardock. The Int Super Saiyan 4 Gohan, Fizzro Bellu, and also the STR Brainwashed Supreme Kai of Time. We did go over exactly what they do with their Awakenings in a previous video, so feel free to go check that out. And we also have some new events. So this one is the special event Super Dragon Ball Heroes Space Warfare Edition. And there's two stages. Uh, this is the first one. That's the second one. We also have the Awakening Medal for the new legs. And then we have a token event for the Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta. That is the stage. And these are the Dokkan Awakening Medals. By the way, this does not mean they're Dokkan Fest exclusive units. Just because we have a new Dokkan event doesn't make them Dokkan Festival exclusive. I know it's weird, but we've had this before with like the uh, God Trunks and the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, right? So yeah, token event for the Super Saiyan 4s. We have... Uh, a new Extreme Z area event with four new stages for the free to play heroes units. And uh, yeah, here's a quick look at the stages along with the. Uh, oh, sorry, there's five, there's five stages. My bad. So that's one to four. This is stage five. And the awakenings are for the uh, Great Saiyan 4, the Oms, uh, the Cumber, and also the. Uh, Demon God Salsa, I believe, and Demon Goddess... Oh my god, I'm blanking. <laughs> I'm blanking right now. Salsa, and... It's another kind of food, right? I totally am blanking on her name. My bad, I apologize. I'll probably get it right after I'm done with the video, but she's also getting an awakening. And then we have uh, three new stages for the new Ultimate Red Zone event. Stage 1 is versus Golden Cooler. Stage 2 is versus Fu. And Stage 3 is versus Cumber. It's going to be interesting to see how hard these stages are compared to like the uh, other Red Zone stages, right? Like for, you know, Broly, for example, or Omega Shenron, uh, Metal Cooler, and so on and so forth. And then we also have a new Extreme Z battle. DB Heroes Edition 2. The weakness is Dragon Ball Heroes, and uh, it drops on the same time as the other events, the 22nd at 6 a.m. GMT. There's the logo, 
and there is the uh, or there are the characters that are getting their Extreme Z Awakenings. We got the Great Ape Cumber, Super Fu, uh, Great Saiyan Man, um, Golden Cooler, uh, Final Form Cooler. That is not not Metal Cooler, and then also the Super Saiyan Three Goku, Super Saiyan Three Vegeta. Uh, I always forget how to say this guy's name. Is it Cialis or Cialis? I don't know. This guy, and also the Supreme Kai of Time as well. So those are the ones getting Extreme Z Awakenings this year. And then there are some assets from the Extreme Z Battle event you guys can take a quick look at. There we go. We got their Extreme Z Awakening medals as well. And there's some more stuff down here as well. So Extreme Z Awakening medals for all eight of the Extreme Z Awakening units. We got a new Trade Jewel or a new Dragonstone, a Hero's Dragonstone. And I believe this will be available for purchase in the Baba Shop. And then we also have, or sorry, uh, not Baba Shop, the Stone Shop or the Pack Shop. And then you can use it to exchange for one of the Heroes units. Not the new ones, but one of the older ones in the Baba Shop. And then we have some scripted assets as well. Super Saiyan 3 Goku, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, uh, this uh, Grand Priest outfit Goku, which is pretty cool. We got legs, we got a couple of hearts right there, uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, uh, a couple of super hearts, and also a new background, which uh, I believe is for the token event. So there you go guys, those are all the assets from the new data download, basically everything that's covered in this Heroes collab, um, it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good as far as hero celebrations go. I think this will be possibly the best one so far as far as like new events go, awakenings, all that stuff. And uh, I will do a separate video going over like the details for all the Extreme Z awakenings. But before we go, I do want to quickly cover the two new units uh, details that we didn't get from the Twitter reveal uh, earlier today. And that would be for the reconstructed Janemba and also the... Uh, golden metal cooler, right? So let me just quickly scroll to the top here Here we go and All right, so now let's pop over to the page of Minato's flash on Twitter who does a lot of translations for uh, JP assets, so a big shout out to him and starting with the reconstructed Janemba who once again keep in mind does not have an awakening yet, so this is his SSR form. Once it gets that Doken Awakening, it'll be even better, right? So uh, we got Tech Reconstructed Janemba. Leader skill is crossover category, kit plus two. HP attack and defense plus 120%. Super attack causes supreme damage and raises attack and defense by 30% for two turns, or sorry, three turns. And then passive is for the first five turns from first appearance, high chance to guard all enemy attacks and guard all attacks when there are two or more enemies. And then attack and defense plus 30% up to 150% for each crossover category ally on the team. Attack plus 50% up to 150% with each super attack uh, performed. Defense plus 30% up to 90% with each attack received. After attacking five or more times in battle or receiving five or more attacks, high chance to perform a critical hit the following turn. Links are Brutal Beatdown, Metamorphosis, Big Bad Bosses, Shocking Speed, Nightmare, and Fear and Faith. And then categories are Dragon Ball Heroes, Crossover, Broded Body and Mind, and Accelerated Battle. So that is the Reconstructed Janemba. Uh, definitely looks promising. You know, he's got a lot of buffs on his passive. He's got the uh, Guard Chance, which... I don't love, honestly, because high chance is 50%, even though it's guaranteed for two or more enemies if you're doing a single target event. You don't really know how reliable his defense is going to be, so hopefully that becomes at least a great chance with the Dokken Awakening or Guaranteed Guard. Guaranteed Guard would be even better. We'll see. Um, otherwise, you know, uh, building attack and defense with uh, crossover category allies is not bad. Uh, building attack with super attacks performed, building defense with attacks received, and then also the high chance to crit after 
taking five or more hits or attacking five or more times is uh, pretty decent as well. So we got a good foundation, I would say, for this guy. And uh, yeah, let's move on to the AGL Golden Metal Cooler. His art is phenomenal. I love this card art. And uh, his leader skill is crossover category key plus two. HP, attack, and defense plus 120%. Super attack raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage. Passive attack and defense plus 150% and performs an additional attack which has a high chance to become a super attack. Reduces damage received by 20% plus an additional attack plus 30% up to 150% and reduces damage received by 6% up to 30% with each crossover category ally on the team. Seals this character super attack when HP is 30% or below at the start of turn. Uh, wait, what? Seals this character super attack when HP is 30% or below at the start of turn. That's interesting. Why would he have this? I don't understand. Unless it's a mistake. Unless it seals the enemy's super attack when HP is 30% or below. Because sealing his own super attack is really bad, and I don't see any benefit to it in his kit, so... Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> that's kind of weird. Uh, Link's Cold Judgment, Shocking Speed, Strongest Client in Space, Auto Regeneration, Fusion, Deficit Boost, and categories are Resurrected Warriors, Full Power, Transformation Boost, Wicked Bloodline, Artificial Life Forms, uh, Dragon Ball Heroes, Crossover, Corroded Body and Mind, and that's it. Okay, so... I really like the damage reduction. I mean, I mean, 20% and then another 60% or sorry, another 50% for my bad. I'm getting confused. It's 20% plus up to 30% more for a grand total of 50% damage reduction. And then once it gets that token awakening, this could go up to like I could see it being like 60-70% damage reduction, which is amazing, right? So maybe to counter the high damage reduction they added a negative aspect to his passive with the self sealing i guess i don't know maybe it's like something to do with the character itself which i'm not super familiar with so you guys tell me if you know a lot about heroes but why does he seal his own super attack unless it's a mistake maybe he posted a correction let me see um No, doesn't 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 seem like he made a mistake. So I don't really know what to say. Um, I guess Golden Metal Cooler seals himself, which is a really weird um thing. <laughs> it's a really weird thing. So, anyways, I'm gonna assume this is correct for now. Um, it's strange, but everything else looks good. Everything else looks good, and for the most part. You know, you're not going to be falling below 60, or sorry, 30% HP too often, so maybe it won't proc that much. And also, once it gets that Dokken Awakening, it might be like a 10%, you know, HP below 10% or 20%, so it's going to be even harder to get that, but I just don't know why it's there. That, that's that's weird. Anyways, um, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Uh, I'm about to pass out. I'm actually super, super tired. I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but... Talking is becoming very difficult. The words are not coming to my brain right now, so I just gotta go to bed as soon as possible. And uh, lastly, uh, one more shout out to my boy Proton10MG. This is always very much appreciated. Thank you to Minato's Flash for the translations. And uh, I'll try to bring you guys the details for all the other Token Awakenings in the morning when my brain is fully operational again. So. Uh, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Oh, real quick. Um, I think I will be streaming when all this stuff drops. I'm not going to be doing like a ton of stones, maybe like three to 500, but I also want to do the events as well. So, um, it should be a fun stream. Make sure to tune in if you guys are available and, uh, yeah, like the damn stream or sorry, like the damn video sub to the channel if you're new hit that notification bell so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and until next time have an awesome awesome day 
I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Video. Signing out.